Chuck, Chuck, he got the sauce, bitch. squad it's your girl keisha and i'm here with tonight's all tea all shade real housewives of atlanta season 13 episode 20 reunion part to review i cannot believe that there's going to be a third part to this bullshit i thought tonight was the last part it should have been over tonight they did not need to stretch this shit out for another week i ain't dressing up next week god damn it i'm tired shit <laughs> um by the way tonight i am wearing the miami on the mind dress by pretty girl parlor curvy teak this dress comes in sizes 1x through 4x please get you this dress it uh is stretchy um i just love all the colors it's very vibrant it's a very beautiful summer dress this is a great dress to wear on vacation out to dinner like at miami turks and caicos cancun lovely dress to wear for a night out on the town so make sure you guys check out pretty girl parlor curvy teak this is a fellow t squad member so support this black owned business i get a lot of my stuff from her boutique the shipping is always on time um i'm pretty sure she'll have some type of discount on the website um the link will be down below in the description box so make sure you support your fellow t squad member over at pretty girl parlor curvy teak thank you for sponsoring this video with this dress thank you thank you thank you um also you guys make sure that you cop my uh 40th birthday box um it is color me pampered presents Keisha's 40th birthday box I will be um distributing these boxes four times a year color me pampered is another extension of my color me pink empire we have the color me pink youtube channel the color me pink publications now we have color me pampered which is uh my custom boxes that I'll be sending out four times a year um it'll be curated with all of my favorite things you do not want to miss this when my 40th box is going to be filled with so many dope products you do not want to miss out on this i can't wait to show you guys the finished products um there's no refunds no exchanges make sure you put in the correct shipping address and all boxes will be shipped out before august 21st which is my birthday so once again make sure you cop your box you do not want to miss out i'm telling you um okay make sure you guys also subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button all right let's get into the reunion part two i I changed my outfit because I ain't want to look like them hoes no more. I wanted to wear some cute and vibrant so I could step the fuck out. Um, I really did a really vibrant eye today. I hope you guys like it. Earrings, she in dress, pretty girl, parlor, curvy, teak. The shoes that I had on were H and M. Okay. So Andy asked Latoya and Drew why they didn't get along. And Drew says that she doesn't know because she didn't know Latoya. She thought they were fine. And Latoya says that her wig was trash. <laughs> I'm like, Latoya's so goddamn petty. I really like Latoya's outfit. Um, the more that I looked at it, I liked her uh Veronica Lake curls. Um, I liked her see-through ensemble. I feel like as far as the people that actually went along with the theme of the night, which was Dungeon. I think that her, Candy, and Marlo were the ones that really captured the theme of the night. The other girls just looked like they always look, even though they looked beautiful. But um, I meant to say this last week that I really liked um, Candy's outfit because it went with the theme. Um, it just didn't translate right on pictures. But uh, Marlo's body, the lipo included, looks great. Um... So Andy says, what has Drew done wrong to you for you to constantly antagonize her? And Toya says, I don't can't constantly antagonize her. And Portia and Drew was like, girl, stop. Portia was like, okay, come on now, Toya. Like, even I was looking at the damn uh, girl like, stop with the foolishness, bitch. You know damn well you antagonize her. They antagonize each other. Um, Toya was the one that started it by talking about her hair, but... 
Drew didn't even know that she was talking about her hair when she made the comment that Toya don't give a damn about husbands and marriages or whatever. So they just both started off on the wrong foot. Um, and even Toya says when she said, I don't care about husbands, that's when I started to attack her. Drew says there were moments where we tried to be cool. We have these moments where we connected and she talks about, you know, how they spend time with each other or whatever. I think that they low key do like each other, but you know, they just have this back and forth caddy that's now that's just not going to ever go away. I think they really want to be like Kenya and Portia 2.0 like I feel like that's what they're trying to be at this point I don't think that it's even genuine this dislike that they have for each other so Kenya says um I told Toya to talk to her and pull it to the side if she really was concerned about this girl hair but then Drew took it further and posted pics of me and attacked my hair care company trying to discredit me I'm like what did I have to do with this now I'm like can you know damn well you was joining in on the fun talking about her damn hair did you go as far as uh Latoya did no but you still were talking about our hair so just keep it a book um Toya and Kenya's segment comes up and Andy asks are they still crushing on each other Kenya says that she's disappointed in Toya and she knows why Kenya brings up North Carolina the trip and how the girls were attacking her at the dinner and how Toya didn't have her back and how she just sat there quiet um I can understand, you know, why she felt some type of way, but you already know how this game goes. We're on a reality show. You just know how the ball rolls at this point, Kenya. And I I don't I wouldn't even be looking for people to have my back because you just never know who's really for you when in this type of setting. And then you and Toya hadn't even been friends long enough for you to be really dependent on her to have your back and this, that, and that third. So eh, whatever. Um so Toya apologizes, however. Um, Andy asks how romantic have things gotten between them. And Kenya says that she hasn't seen any of Toya's lady parts. And Toya hasn't seen her naked. And Toya was like, I haven't. I haven't seen you naked. I didn't see your booty. And she was like, oh, yeah, she did. I did show her my booty because I had some cellulite. I'm like, girl, you just wanted her to see the goodies. My goodies. My goodies. Um... So Toya says that she, uh, I'm sorry, Andy then brings up Drew saying on Watch What Happens Live that she thought that Kenya and Toya were fucking around and that they had had sex. Um, Toya was like, well, you cheated on your husband with me. We kissed. And, <laughs> and Drew was like, we never kissed. That is a bold face. Like, we never kissed. Like, she can't even tell lies good enough to make them believable. Like, girl, Candy was like, no, Toya was like, Candy, Candy. And Candy was like, y'all did kiss, y'all did. And Portia, she was like, Portia said she saw them too. And Drew was like, that never, ever happened. And Kenya was like, Candy don't lie on people. And we all know that Candy does not lie. So it's just like, Drew, why are you not going to admit that you kissed her? Oh, because you are married and you don't want it to further go into the details about what the hell your ass and Bolo was doing on that damn coffee table. Like I said, she cheated on a goddamn husband. Not once, but now we know twice. You ain't shit, bitch, while you're sitting up here trying to crucify her for dating while still being married, even though she separated. Girl, sit the hell down, you fake ass Christian. So, um, uh, Toya, I mean, Andy then, um, asked Toya why she told the girls about Kenya's alimony business and Toya says that she doesn't know the dynamics of their relationships because one minute they're cool the next minute they're not and Kenya calls bullshit and says you might be the youngest one here but you're not the dumbest I have told you how these ladies have treated me Drew wants an issue with me she had been groomed by Portia <laughs> Um, and I mean, Toya knows she full of shit she was being messy she was trying to play both sides of the fence um and I do agree that Drew does want an issue with Kenya because she's one of the big dogs. She's not going to go against Candy because, you know, there's a respect level there. And she's not going to go against Portia because that's her ally. So who else is there to go against? Kenya. Um, Toy was like, I thought you were open with what you were going through. Um... And Andy was like, I mean, you can see now why all the viewers thought that you were two-faced. And Toya was like, yeah, I do see that now. So then Andy brings out Marlo and Shamia, and he goes up for Marlo's look. It was very, very sexy, very um, a la Tony Braxton. Um, Andy then asked Shamia, who's her fashion inspiration for the night, and Marlo gonna whisper to Toya, talks of coming to America. <laughs> 
And that's the guys out of truth. I told y'all last week she looked like Vanessa Bell Calloway um, and coming to America. <clears throat> So Shamia was like, I'm going for like old Hollywood glam Diana Ross. And I was like, lies you tell because Diana ain't never looked like that. You look a hot 80s mess. She looked like one of my baby dolls I had in uh in the 80s. One of my Barbies doll, one of my Barbie dolls, and how they used to have them little 80s dresses and shit. Like, girl, sit down. He she looked a mess. Um, so Marlo shows off her outfit. Her liposuction did wonder. She got her little eight pack or whatever going on. So Marlo, go, I mean, Shamia gonna talk about some fresh off the table, fresh off the table. I'm like, and the fuck what? I wish I could get my ass on somebody's table to get this fat sucked up out of my goddamn stomach. So Marlo says that she did have a back injury, but that she did have lipo after the fact. And I don't really understand why they trying to act like she lying about the shit. She's been honest about the fact that, yeah, I did have lipo, whether before or after she still had it done. So it really don't fucking matter. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? So then Andy asked Kenya why she brought Brooklyn on the trip. And Kenya was like, I'm not going to leave a new nanny with my child. I mean, we've all went over this shit. Like, who's going to leave their how old is Brooklyn? Two, two year old, three year old with a new nanny. And I'm all the way states over, you know, and I can't, I ain't got no way to get, you know, in contact, you know, with, get to my baby in case anything happened. Hell no. Nah. So, of course, I'm going to bring my baby with me. So, Andy was like, do you understand why the women who didn't bring their kids were upset? And Kenny was like, if they wanted to bring their child, their child would have been brought in. I love you to death, Candy, but you arranged to have a whole dick in the box come. But if you wanted to arrange to have your child there, you could have made it happier, happen easier than I did. And I was like, where is the lie no lie has been spoken i said it then and i'll say it now i call bullshit on all them portia led the goddamn uh charge with that bullshit about she should have told us we could bring our kids this that and the third because on the next trip didn't nobody bring their goddamn kids everybody was full of shit that night including candy um so then Andy says, Ken, Kenya, you tweeted her mothering is better than our mother. And that's what Portia said. Then you said this is about guilt. And I agree. And uh, Sheridan was the one that had to point it out to me. Like, uh, Portia baby always with her mama. <laughs> Portia ain't never got her goddamn baby. So Kenya was like, that's how I felt. And Portia was like, I don't feel guilty about a damn thing. I, I'm a great mother to my child. Andy says, Candy, why did you get so emotional about being away from your kid? Riley has called you out for not being around throughout the years. And Candy was like, watch your tone. Like, I don't say it like I ain't never around my kid. Once again, that's their guilt talking because your ass is always the fuck gone. Riley didn't lie on your ass. She was like, I was always told we were not to bring kids on the trips or whatever. So, Candy was like, I knew. Uh, so, then they switched to uh, something about Drew and the trip or whatever and Kim was like I knew she was having body issues so I called her and said if you need to bring Spanx it's that in the third and Drew was like body issues I have I think she said like endometriosis or some shit and talking about how she got tissue on her stomach and that causes pain this this that in the third and then she tries to play victim even though she was the one that went on social media and was talking about Kenya's fake ass and this that in the third and then Kenya posted a picture of her that wasn't flattering that showed her stomach and and how fat it was and then she wanted to come with I have the uh endometriosis type shit and how dare you body shame me girl like I can't even see it for Drew because she's so full of fucking shit like nothing about her is relatable like she gets on my nerves and she lie 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 and then she want to play victim she want to shame folks whether it be for religion or their body or their marriage but then want to act like I didn't do anything like she just I just she was a disappointment to me really she really was and I really don't care to see her back for next season so um Kenya Andy asked Kenya why did you call Drew broke for splitting checks and Kenya was like oh you know that was just shade and so Drew was like broke bitches split checks but rich bitches buy over a million dollar home and Kenya was like rich but need a job <laughs> and then Drew says step up 400 million dollars at the box office it's like what the fuck 
look like, bitch, you want a lead character in that step up movie? Like, you act like Kenya ain't been in box office hits. Like, shut the hell up, Drew. And then she's sitting up here talking about uh, broke bitches, split checks, and rich bitches about homes, where your ass once again then dug a hole for yourself because reports came out this week that Drew and her husband are accused of screwing over a company that helped work on their new home. According to court documents obtained by the radar, the reality star and her husband, Ralph Pittman, had a lien placed against their new home in Duluth, Georgia. The company Tidal Wave Response claims they performed work on Drew Sador's home but never received full payment. The couple recently purchased a six-bedroom, 6.5-bathroom, 9,220-square-foot mansion. The pad is located in the same neighborhood as Nene Leakes. And court documents, Tidal Wave says they provided services related to water damage mitigation services. The lien says they are owed a total of $29,365.45. But you sitting up here trying to act like you got it like that. That's why I, like, I just can't see it for Drew because she's a faker. She is a wannabe. Like, nothing about her is authentic. Like, have several seats, ma'am. So, um, Cynthia still doesn't have a post up. And I'm like, <laughs> everybody plays the fool. <laughs> Listen, baby. Like, she just wants this man to take all her money. Andy then asked Portia and Candy, where are they now? Like, are they still working on their friendship? And they both said they're still following each other on social media. Um... If I was Candy, I would be able to kiki with her, laugh and giggle. I wouldn't necessarily follow her on social media, nor will I ever call her a friend. And I will always have one eye open because Portia is a snake. She just is. She's fucked over everybody. Everybody. Cynthia, Shamia, Marlo, Portia. She has, I mean, um, Candy, Kenya. She's fucked over everybody on this show. So I would never trust her. Never, ever in a million years. Um, so, uh, Marlo says after the dungeon party, they got super close. It was like you had some dirt on her or something. Portia was like, we've been act, we've been the exact same. Um, I don't think that that's true that after the dungeon party, they got super close, but I do find it odd that Candy was trying to protect Portia. I think once again, that it wasn't so much that she was trying to protect Portia. Portia she was trying to protect Bolo because he is a client of hers and of course she didn't want to put it out there that he be out her fucking clients <laughs> while on the job so um Andy asks Kenya what she thinks about Candy and Portia's friendship and Kenya says I think you have to keep one eye open with somebody who's hurt you and I agree so the dungeon segment finally comes up and Candy uh says that she's putting together a virtual dungeon for folks you know she always gotta make a coin I ain't mad at it Andy asks what happened on the coffee table and Portia says it came back to me that Toya did a thing on me and Toya was like what's a thing on me and Portia was like your face was here talking about her cootie cap she, but she says you know I had my clothes on or whatever and I was like y'all nasty bitches um, so Marlo says, I'm bothered that Portia tried to make it seem like I've been a bad friend. I've been to Portia's house without cameras. I've been to, you know, events at this, that, and the third. I tried to, uh, help her and Dennis get back together. What the hell did I do? Portia says, I'm confused to why she's saying North Carolina, like we were fine. And I'm like, see, this is what I be talking about. Like, that's why her and Drew get along so well, because they both know how to lie with a straight face and they don't never cop up to their bullshit. Um, so Marlo says, for you to sit there and be so nasty and evil, always wearing a crown and saying you're a queen. And Portia's like, I'm not even wearing a crown today, but I'm glad you can still see it. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a great line. So Marla was like, you're beautiful with your new face. Where's your original face? I thought we were really friends. And I was like, child, by the time somebody finally said it, because uh, Portia face compared to what it was on when she first got on the show and her new ass and her new titties, child, she got a whole new everything. But it's great work. She looks phenomenal. So Portia was like, this is exhausting. She knows exactly what she's doing. She knows exactly what she did. And Marla was like, Shamila... <laughs> Jamia was like, it's Jamia. Damn that lisp. <laughs> so Marla was like, Shamila can say it wasn't her, but I couldn't. Portia says she is the one that has created this issue between us. 
And I looked across that damn stage like, you got to be motherfucking kidding me. Like, anybody with two eyes and a brain knows that Portia felt some type of way because Marlo and Kenya got cool again and she didn't like it. But instead of her being honest and just admitting it, she wants to play dumb and act like it's all in Marlo's head and that Marlo was the one that has the issue. Like, that's why I can't never really rock with Portia because she be so full of shit. So, um... Marlo was like, this bitch is crazy. I'm like, bitch, I ain't even said nothing. The next morning, I knew all the details. The person who asked you kissing told everything, bitch, and you dissing me? Now, I'm like, is she talking about candy? Is that what she talking about? Because that's what it seemed like she talking about. So, I guess we're going to find out next week, child. Uh, Marlo is going to be on Speak On It tonight on Candy's uh, YouTube channel. So, I will be tuning in to see what she has to say. Um, I give part two of the reunion, yeah, C plus. It was cool, but it really wasn't nothing for real, for real. Like, this season had nothing going on for real. But I was cute, and that's all I really cared about. Once again, make sure you cop the Miami on the mind dress over at Pretty Girl Parlor Curvy Teak. And make sure you cop my 40th birthday book box. Not book box, but box. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. She's cute.